All right, so let's try this again. Apparently, like I was recording and I didn't realize I was uh, I had my microphone off. So, <laughs> thankfully, I've only I was only in it for like a couple, like I think one minute after the intro. So, I'm not missing much, but yeah, <laughs> like I know I know I know very very little. I was just like I was looking, I was like, why is my sound not go? Oh, <laughs> I'm still waking up. Okay, I have coffee here. So, we're all good. But anyways, guys, what is going on? My name is Roman Becky, and from Roman Reviews here, with another episode reaction to the Rise of the Shield here on this episode 24. We've only got two more episodes, including this one, left. And I have no idea how this is going to go. So, last episode, we got to see that there was a dragon hourglass underneath the this water temple. Um, and it was signifying, and it was signaling that there was a wave coming in about two days. I think it was like 48 hours and like some change. So they don't have a lot of time to prep. And I have a feeling that that is going to be how this episode ends is with the start of the wave or maybe around the halfway mark. We're going to see because it's going to be them kind of preparing. Maybe I have no idea. Like perhaps they're just going to get some like reinforcements. Um, but I, I, and like, I think the show is going to end on on a cliff. Uh, no, no. People were saying that the show is going to end off in a cliffhanger, so it's going to be during the fight of uh, during the wave. So I'm curious as to see what's going to happen. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's jump in to the Rise of the Shield Hero. So in three, two, one, let's jump. And we do start off with the intro. Um, but yeah, so. As I was saying before I actually screwed up my recording, <laughs> thankfully it wasn't too much, like I said. Um, I'm trying to figure out how the show is going to get the cliffhanger. Now, I was re-looking, I was re-watching this intro, and a giant thing comes out and attacks them. And I didn't realize that. And I didn't even realize in the intro that it shows the underwater dragon um, hourglass. And I didn't realize, they, it shows a lot of spoilers, and if you think about it, like, when this, when this intro first aired, it showed a lot of, like, spoilers that you wouldn't realize until after you've seen it, which is cool. So, this is during a wave, I'm guessing this is during the last wave, because look at, what the fuck is, like, jumping out and attacking them? And you can see that all the heroes are attacking it. Are they attacking a whale? Are we re-zero again? I mean, I'm not, I don't mind that, because that's, that was one of my favorite arcs in that show, but that's besides the point. Yeah, this is all during the, um, that was all during the wave. I'm guessing it's the, it's gonna be this one coming up, because they're all fighting, and so, yeah. Really curious as to see where this is going to go. Still can't believe we only have another episode after this. Need to increase the volume. I can barely hear it. Oh. Oh yeah. Also, a lot of people are saying that maybe the strange item that they got when they were farming was those penguin swimsuits. Another thing that I thoroughly enjoyed was that they didn't pander a lot to the fan service in last episode because, um, I follow Crunchyroll on Twitter and they had retweeted out. Um, the preview for this episode, and I thought it was going to be like a filler fan servicey episode, and I and it wasn't. I'm thoroughly glad that it didn't. Wasn't that the only fan service that they showed her in a swimsuit for like? Oh, that's right. I keep on forgetting he has that teleport thing that he learned. <laughs> but yeah, I am glad that they only showed um very small amounts. And apparently, that girl with the green. In the back, <laughs> fucking run. Um, that girl in the green hair is like a major player later on. Oh shit! She's actually joining in. I know that, like she usually joins him, but it's it's just kind of cool seeing that though. Oh shit! I hope nothing bad happens to her. Cause she wanted to see you, Baka.
Oh, okay. And it, a full on, a full on naval battle. I feel like. Well, not really. It's not gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be ships on ships. That would be actually really cool, though, if that is the case. Maybe because they were forced to be separated for the time being, that they they would rather fight with their own teams and not team up. I still wonder. I think that I think they started to realize who Nafumi actually was. Yep, he knows something, and I... oh shit, we're just oh never mind. I was so I was wrong. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more prep, and I'm 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 fine. I'm glad that they're not doing that, and they're jumping right into it. So I'm guessing this this wave's gonna go until the next episode. So this is gonna be a, like an entire fight. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Are those oil barrels? No, they, are they are they black powder kegs? They are they are powder kegs. Cast bombs, eh? Oh. Um. Huh. Okay. And since they're all. Oh, that was, that was, that, I did not like, that was bad CG. Uh, yeah, who are you? I know you're a big player, and I, I, and it makes me want to actually, like, look at it more. I actually might read, uh, or I might read the light novel or the manga. That's a big fish. That's a really big fish. He's like terrified of water, Jesus. I'm guessing what that spell is. Oh, it's a provoke. It is a provoke skill. It's like a mix between like a shark. That's a big ass spear. It's like a shark whale. Eh, it doesn't look like it did that much. You just piss it off. No, you didn't. Never say we got it! It was a basically a ballista imbued with magic. Shoot it in the eye. I, I'm trying not to be critical, but they are like that CG is ugh. Maybe it's because I'm so like after watching Demon Slayer, like the CG in comparison, and I'm trying hard not to. That's a fish. With legs. Are you gonna like slash him in half with water magic? Or just push him off?
Oh shit, I actually thought someone was gonna jump in and save her. Okay, nice. Interesting, it went from CG to 2D animation for a split second. Yeah, it's, it's kind of really good. Please explain it. Don't just, like, keep on having him act like this. That looked like it was CG, and that didn't look that bad. That's a lot of damage. I'm just gonna drill. <laughs> Did okay. I thought he like dr she just drilled right into him. We're finally gonna see some of the party members do shit? No, never mind. Sorry, never mind. For a split second, I thought that was one of the party members of the other heroes. I was wrong. By the way, what about the other guys? That's not the main boss. So he knows. <laughs> You're like that. They're like the kids in the project who didn't. Yeah, you guys did nothing. You guys did absolutely nothing, and this guy who's not even one of the heroes is smacking you around. He doesn't recognize your power. Only thing. He's gonna. He's in the same mindset as full uh, as a filial queen, because he sees them as super, like stupid ass weak. And that's. <sighs> you have to die because they're all weak. So they are heroes, but they're not heroes of this world, so therefore they're not actually heroes in their world sense. But they are heroes. Motherfuckers, I was right! <laughs> I know it says guardians, but...
That is one thing, though. Like, these heroes has always, like, seemed to, like, be like, oh, I'm so much better than all of y'all. But they fucking suck. The only time they were actually shown being competent was during the very first wave. And even then. So she's not actually trying to attack. So she's basically um, prevented them from even doing anything. Incapacitating them. English is hard. Is he actually going to take them on? I think he's going to tell them to send back. Maybe. Okay, no. I, I don't know. He had two sides. Please at least show the adventurers like in the party do something. I, I, that's I I've just always wanted that. Me personally, especially her. <laughs> I know she's gonna be a big player, but she's not gonna be much until later on. Can he mitigate? Can he actually attack through defenses? So he's a direct fucking counter to you. I know we're not gonna get much of her, but I feel like I'm gonna like her. I don't know her name though. Like I know it was like some weird name or weirdish name. All these names are weird anyway. To make a fight. To make it fair and square. Yeah, 
You know, she also hasn't used the, um, her mana sword in a while, too. wonder if that's going to play a role. Didn't say he wouldn't use that as an offense either. Or just defense. You got that right. Is that glass? It is! I knew it! <laughs> oh shit. Now that's bad. All three of them? Oh fuck. They kicked all... I'm legitimately curious on seeing how this is going to go now. So, who's the fourth hero? Who's going to... Well, I wonder... Uh, I mean... We don't know how many other heroes from other worlds there are. We just know of the three so far. Damn it. Damn it. I wanted to see more. Alright, I'm just going to skip to the end. Because I highly doubt it. But let's see what the next um, episode is going to be titled. Let's see what the next episode is going to be titled. Because I'm really curious, actually. Next episode, the rising of the shield here. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So I wasn't wrong per se when I said that the the other the glass uh, glass lark glass and lark were other heroes. I wasn't wrong. They're just not the heroes in the traditional sense. They're not cardinal heroes. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. There was just something more about there. I just knew there was something more about them. And especially since they're, you know, they're kind of kicking everyone's ass. So, like, I com it completely makes sense. Like, it completely makes sense, their mentality. Because you know what? If I had that kind of power and I was a, and I had that kind of mentality, which I probably would, I would do the same thing. Yeah, kill them. They're horrible. They suck ass. 
I actually have no qualms with how Lark is handling things. It actually makes complete sense. Is it a little bit drastic? Absolutely. But is does it also make sense? Yes. In the long run, because he he, do, he realizes that he has to kill all four, because I'm pretty sure if he had the choice and if he killed one, it would replace him, he would keep Mount Fumi alive. Because he realizes, like, now Fumi 1 is a good guy, and he's at least, like, pretty damn useful, at, at the very least. But he has to kill all four of them, or the, all four of them have to die for them to get new ones. I get what you're saying. I mean, it's the same thing with Fil the Filolio Queen. I can't, can't remember her name. Um... What she was saying with the whole situation, where basically it was like, I'll kill them all, so you can all get new ones. But granted, hers was more, hers felt more of like a bluff the entire time. This one, like, it's kind of showing, but maybe this is also trying to force the other heroes to actually get off their asses and actually do something for once in their goddamn lives outside of the first wave. Because goddamn, it is so infuriating to see these guys are the saviors of the world, and they can't do jack shit. I mean, that's kind of how it's been for the most part, and it's been a little bit frustrating to see them. I mean, granted, thankfully, they're not the main characters, and I think it's kind of meant to actually have us have some sort of disdain towards these other heroes, because, like I said, they're doing diddly shit. Um, and I want them to, like, get their ass handed to them, which they've constantly done, but I kind of felt like this would be the moment for them to at least, like, step up. But they haven't done that. So I'm guessing maybe in second season we're going to get that. Well, I, I have no idea. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. What did you guys think? And let me know what, if you guys are anime-only viewers, what you guys are expecting for this next episode. Because like I said, next episode is going to be the continuation of the wave. But apparently what from everyone's been saying, without spoiling it, thank you guys for that too, um, is that we're going to be ending it on a really good cliffhanger. Normally I hate cliffhangers, especially on a season finale. But apparently this is a good one. So... I'll, I'll, I'll be optimistic for the most part. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy the reaction. And as always, I will see you guys next time. See ya.